Welcome to the e-commerce coffee break. My name is Klaus Lauter and I'm an e-commerce growth advisor and business coach for businesses and brands that are using Shopify's e-commerce platform. And yes, I also like coffee. Each week you're going to get actionable advice, strategies and tips to optimize your online store and e-commerce business. So let's get started. In this episode of the e-commerce coffee break, I want to talk about collection and category pages and specifically about one feature that sometimes is not really mentioned because people just take it as it comes from the theme and that is pagination. So what does that mean? Basically, it means if you have a lot of products and people scroll down on the page, on the category page, what happens next? Um, is there either a infinite scroll? So the page loads more products as you scroll down or is there some kind of pagination where you either um, click for the next page so there's a pagination saying page two three four five six or is there a load more button now all of these things you will see on different stores when you browse the web which one is the best option now there's some pros and cons obviously as always and um, i think the best solution for it is to have a load more button and um, i tell you why if you have just a pagination down there where it says one one, two, three, four, five. You have a bit of a motor load and sometimes it's a little bit difficult because people tend to have very, um, because it's just one um, number, one figure, um, problems clicking on it. And it doesn't really tell you how many more products you will see there. Or it gives you an impression that there is too many products or whatever. So it's a bit of a, a um, cognitive and motoric workload on your customer and you want to avoid that. If you have a infinite scroll that goes on forever, so you have a lot of products and you, they can just keep on scrolling, 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 um, two things happening there. Um, the first thing is your customer will never reach the footer of your page. And there might be good reasons that you want to get them actually to the footer. And that might be, for instance, a newsletter sign up form, or they might be interested in navigating somewhere else on your site, or just the shipping policies, whatever. So, and if it just keep scrolling until they reach all 500 products you have um, they will never get there now a good compromise is to have a lazy load um, with a load more button so that means basically they can scroll down they get a fair amount of products that they can see and then it stops at some moment and then you have a big easy to find and easy to click call to action which just says load more or the other option they can scroll further down with out having more products loading on the page and you um, they have then the chance to see the footer menu or whatever you want to have below that section so i think this is the b very best way to do it unfortunately a lot of stores um, only use um, lazy load with infinite scrolling and um, that obviously um, slows down the site um, you need to be careful because all this javascript that you're using there might break on certain browsers um, and um, it's always very difficult to to um, try your site and to check and test your site on all browsers are out there but obviously you want to have your site as compliant as possible so you keep it simple so I think the perfect mix, instead of having um, page numbers for the paginations or a ongoing infinite scrolling, is to have a lazy load with a um, number of products. And I would reckon something in the range of 24 or 36 products should be the max. And then you have a button that says load more, and then it will load the next batch of your products on the page. Hope that makes sense. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know what you're using on your store. Would be interested to see or even if you can think of other options on how to solve this issue and um, to provide a good customer experience on your store. And um, don't forget to sign up and to subscribe to the podcast so that you won't miss out on the next episode. If you have any questions, um, then obviously you can drop me a message. And if you're interested in my e-commerce success coaching program, um, let me know and I'll get you all the details. That's it for this e-commerce coffee break and I catch you in the next one. Have a good day.